guys, so we're back with another video. It's been a little while. I mean, yeah, it's been a little while since we made a video. And uh, the, uh, the the location for the charger has gotten a lot of views. That's actually my most viewed video now. So thank you guys for the support on that video. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to bring it back with a custom... Uh, uh, vehicle that I found, and I'm gonna restore it. It's obviously, this is uh, just a disclaimer thing. If you, I'm not trying to say anything that this is real or not, but it is. I'm finding a barn find today, and this barn find is not like one of the official ones. It's more of a like you find a. Uh, I made like a vehicle and it has like a rusty paint job on it and stuff. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep it simple. And sorry if the map is really laggy. It's cause there's a lot of trees. Uh, by the way, if you want to, you can, um, this is, I'm actually building this map. So basically right now, uh, it's under development still, still getting worked on, but um, most of the trails are complete and yeah, that stuff. But yeah. This is kind of like a little sneak peek of what is in my map and what there is to like see. But yeah. Anyways, let's get into the video. We have our Land Rover here. Obviously, because it's the most indestructible thing and I'm in my little secret like house area. So we're gonna go grab the uh, the trailer real quick. It's gonna be over here in this little thing because I couldn't fit it over there. Uh, by the way, like my, uh, what, rate my, um, our Land Rover from 1 to 10. I kind of like it. Anyways, so, let's get on going. Uh, so, this is gonna be pretty, oh, the lag's real. Um, okay, let's try to find this. Beetle that somebody was telling me about. So, uh, it, yeah, it's a beetle. It's an off-road beetle, and it's perfect for this map because this map got a rally cross trail. So, yeah, we should be able to find it. They said it's in an abandoned barn, like a an abandoned barn find. So I'm gonna go see if I can find it. Obviously, it's really well hidden. They said so said somewhere around oh there it is see it um okay let's see can i get this trailer to fit oh there it is there it is see it okay so here is the abandoned bug okay let's see i'm gonna head and uh, dr launch the drone real quick because of uh stuff because i want to like take a better look at it okay so this thing is really rusted over i can tell it's like a lot of rust the whole body is rusted. It's really muddy, and the suspension doesn't look too good. Looks like the front suspension took it. So I think it was in, like, a Baja race or something, and the front suspension got blown out, and then they just left it here. The engine doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, that engine doesn't look too bad. It looks like they have a fresh engine, and they just let it sit here. Or maybe that they tried to uh, repair the engine or repair the vehicle and did not get successful. I don't know. Okay, we got, like, extra tires here, just in case, and then, well, we got, like, a little barrier here. But overall, this place is really torn down, so I'm gonna pick up the thing. I'm not sure how to maneuver this thing. I don't even know how it got here in the first place. I'm gonna try to maneuver it, so, oh, I am, um, attach the trailer. So it's facing backwards, obviously, there was a lot of maneuverment to get this thing going we'll attach it this way and then i'm going to detach it and attach it keeping on i'm going to keep on doing that until i like get the thing to drive up on that so do you finish attach okay i think we got it i think we, yes we did okay so i brought the car over here Got it aligned, detach it real quick. Actually, I'm gonna attach it real quick. 
I need to, like, bring, somehow bring this over. We're, uh, it's a lot easier said than done, actually, to drive. Well, it's not that easy, but I'm going to see you guys are probably going to be like, Leo, it's not that hard to get that trailer in. Trust me, it's very difficult when you have, like, little room. Um, I got stuck. Um, that's fine. We just gotta get this, um, trailer to go in. Just gonna drive a bit. The trailer unhinged. And attach the trailer. Hold on, can I, is there a way I can... Start up the vehicle? It might start up, I'm not sure. Yes, I, I have the available option to swap it. Okay, swap cars. Okay, it looks very bad. Glad I got rear wheel drive. And the engine does run. It's good. I can oh I can roll it a little bit too. It just it's really doesn't really want to move. And well I'm just gonna get this on the trailer real quick. Get on the trailer. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you where the drop off point is. Um attach Okay, we got the bug on the trailer, the bug, bug. Now, it's gonna probably take a few, maybe even like a long time to restore the vehicle due to its, um, not really drivability. Ooh, we even got lights on the trailer. I actually just noticed that, but yeah. We're just gonna drive it really quickly over to this little thing. And then the mechanic's gonna take it from there. Apparently. I'll see you guys once I get this thing up on the uh, one of those racks. Okay, guys. So I got the car up on the, the lift here. And it's looking pretty good. So we're just going to come back in a few weeks. And yeah, should be finished and all re restored. So I'll see you right then. Okay, guys. So I got a call from the workshop telling me that the vehicle is all finished. And is ready to go. And uh, that it's fully restored. And it looks, and they did something really cool. They wanted to surprise me with something. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to and see what it looks like now. So that's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to head down here. Hopefully it looks good. Please be good, please be good. Oh! That's actually different. That, that's nice. I like that. I love that. I don't like. I love that. What? What? That is sick. So they added a lot of things to. Oh my gosh! They added a bunch of things. Now I. They did tell me that they kept the engine and power stuff stock, like the original. Oh, what? What happened? Uh, stuff stock. So now if I swap my car. I'm in it, and the engine's perfectly running, as you can see. Now I can change the, uh, the drivetrain. Now, it's still stock, so that, mean, that means... Uh, hold on, I'm going to put this on the trailer. Get that on the trailer. Oh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm on top. <laughs> we... I'm going to bring the Beetle, actually, somewhere else. So, if you guys want to see me do a proper build on the Beetle... So we are going to try it out where... It, this is what it usually did back then. So I'm actually going to reset real quick. As you can see, oh, it's getting a little laggy because the spawn's probably that like that. Um, but we're going to head over to the Baja track, which is this thing that you... Um, I haven't showed you guys yet. But yeah, it's like a little sand Baja track that I'm going to try out this Baja Beetle on to see how good it is. Now, it does have everything equipped on it. It has all the body mods and stuff. This Range Rover is really slow. So, we are going to park here in this little area, detach the trailer, and swap our vehicles. Now, I mean that thing just... Uh... So, I'm going to take... Let's take a look at the paint job. They did really well on the paint job. 50, number 55. It's yellow. Like Bumblebee. They also fix the tires and everything. They even got tire letters. But as you can see, it is stock. So it probably only has like around maybe like 
was it like a hundred horsepower? But we're gonna try out uh the track to see how good it is. Pull up the speedometer real quick. Let's see how fast this thing really goes. In three, two, one, go. Okay, a little bit of lag going into second gear. It's fine. So this is what this vehicle used to do um back then. So um when this vehicle was made it it was doing like hard jumps and stuff like this that's probably how that front suspension i'll show you a picture of it real quick that's how it um kind of bent the suspension in the front and made it like bad and all the mud is from that and stuff so it was like really what it, it wasn't it, it's not that fast but like you can now tell like they fixed the suspension and stuff they had to like straighten it using new like tools and stuff and it took a while to get the suspension fixed but now that they got it fixed it actually drives really nicely i like this um let me probably have the yeah this is how they used to run them back then and they weren't the fastest things in the world but they weren't the slowest because they do have the i do have the new engine in there um it just needs like maybe a supercharger or maybe twin turbos and then that will get this thing up and going. Because an upgraded motor would be a lot nicer. Yeah, for this thing. Yeah, just getting on the power is kind of difficult and stuff. But yeah, um, going down the hill. Yep, this is where the speed comes in. It's like 100 miles per hour. This thing's stock, by the way. So that's actually really nice. It's 73 miles an hour. This thing's pretty lively. Over the jump into the water feature that's how you clean off your vehicle and then over the big jump this is where we started over the jump this thing's pretty quick for what it is actually and then across the line here you go in three two one across the line so it's not that bad um i would really prefer to see this thing like more upgraded so if you guys do want to see another video with this um subscribe hit the like button we're actually almost to 100 subs uh, by making when timing of making this video i'm at like around 98 subs right now so yeah um if you guys want to subscribe uh please do that and let's try to get this video like 20 likes that's my like goal of probably every single video but yeah also rate the the paint job from one to ten too but anyways guys that's it for this video see you guys in the next one bye